This is ClickBank selling. So first obviously you want to go to clickbank.com and register and make your account as a affiliate. Unless you want to sell products then you want to sign up as a vendor. So then you click on marketplace at the very top you'll see this link right here. Click that in the top menu and then you'll see a bunch of analyses right here after you type in your niche market that you want to advertise and affiliate market. So let's say you're in the fitness industry and you want to look for diet products to sell. You type in diet and then you'll see different products that are in that industry. There'll be filters here so you can set the gravity to 10 or at least one and then you can see all the products that are that are, have been selling recently. So let's go over what these different stats mean including what gravity means. So the average dollars per sale is the average amount each affiliate earns for each sale. The initial dollars per sale is the exact amount of money you will earn for each sale. Average percent per sale is the percent commission that you're going to make every time you make a conversion or a sale. Average rebuild total. This is the average amount an affiliate earns every month from a subscription or membership if it is a membership product rather than just like a one-time sale like a PDF file. So gravity or GRAV which is short for gravity. The higher the gravity the higher the number of purchases the product has received over the recent weeks. So if the gravity is zero then there has been any recent sales and you probably want to avoid that product. Unless it's brand new and you suspect that it's going to sell well then fine. So you can see here are the stats right here under this first product that pops up and under every product is going to have similar stats. You can see the gravity is 10 because we set the filter to 10 but you want to set it to at least 1. So you want to avoid products with zero gravity because they're getting no sales so there could be something wrong with the product itself or something wrong with the sales page that is just, it's just not converting or there could be no demand for it. A gravity score of 60 or less indicates that it will have fewer competitors, so somewhere between 1 or 60 might be a good place to start. And it's great to look for products to affiliate market if they already have banners or pre-made ad copy that you can just use rather than having to make it yourself. And that would be described in the product description. So. It might say here, like, you know, for affiliate banners, go through this URL and it'll put you towards their URL that actually has like sales copy and banners and graphics that you can actually use to sell the products. So you don't want to create it yourself. Avoid any products that send you to sales pages with pop ups or exit pops, meaning when people exit that page, it has a pop up. Avoid sales pages with other products or links that you're not going to get credit for and avoid categories that are high risk with a high return rate. So there's different websites like CB Engine that can rate products for you on Clickbank to give you a better idea about how much people like it so you don't risk your reputation by selling these products. It's a good idea to review products before you recommend them to other people, especially your audience because if you recommend like a product that's terrible to your audience, you, you may just lose your audience and you're going to lose repeat sales and lose trust. If you talk to some merchants, some of them will give you the product for free, especially if you can demonstrate that you are a productive seller and then you have a track record of, of conversions in the past and that you're experienced. So here's what CB Engine looks like. You can see there's a bunch of ratings for different products that you can explore. So how do you market your affiliate link? That is done through the affiliate lecture and through all the SEO, social media, and paid advertising lectures that we also offer in the hourly library. So you just go and take a look at that. And that includes like pay-per-click advertising, your newsletter through email marketing to your audience, like you're offering value to your audience and then occasionally recommending a product that is your affiliate link through ClickBank. Avoid 
automated traffic that are just bots. So if you're really experienced, you might be able to get away with buying quality traffic if you can, if you know the source and if you can test that traffic to make sure it's actually legitimate and real. You want to make sure you follow the FTC advertising guidelines. Never lie or exaggerate in your ads. You can pick the different display ad networks. So if you just go to Google, type in ad network, you'll see a bunch of ad networks to choose from. You might be able to get a better pay-per-click rate that's lower, more effective. So here's an example of an ad network like 7Search where you can buy like different types of ads on there. Bing has a paid per click advertising department that can be friendlier to affiliate marketers and you might get a better deal compared to other search engines that are more popular. If it's an English product, obviously you want to only advertise to countries that actually speak English like United States or England. If you're just starting, you want to maintain and limit your budget to a couple dollars a day so you can understand how everything works. And just as a sales statistic, typically in the cold market, you're going to make like a 1% conversion. So it's a good idea to make your maximum bid 1% of whatever the commission you're going to make is. That way you can at least break even. Hopefully if it sells at least 1% of the time. Or make a profit if it sells more than that. Then it allows you to scale up afterwards once you figure out what, what is actually working. Stick to search networks rather than other types of pay-per-click advertising because it's more targeted when you do your pay-per-click campaign on these search engines. Then go back and review your pay-per-click campaign and de delete any irrelevant keywords that are matching up to your campaign like keywords that are not buyer keywords or just like in a completely unrelated industry. If there's some keywords with a low click-through rate, go ahead and delete those also so you're not paying for useless clicks. You can use the Google Keyword Planner to search for keyword phrases that people actually search for. And that's discussed in the SEO lecture in the Overly Library. See, search for the phrases that the ideal customer would type into Google, and that goes back into like buyer keywords where people type in like affordable and then whatever your industry niche or cheap in your industry niche or how to's depending on what kind of product you're trying to affiliate market and that it goes back to the uh, SEO lecture as well and again exclude words from searches that don't convert into customers and you want to understand how to specify the types of searches that people are going to type into Google that you're willing to pay for so for example a phrase match has to contain the phrase that you put in quote somewhere in that keyword search and an exact match has to be the, that exact keyword phrase written in that way in that format when you put it into brackets so that also goes back to the SEO lecture in, in our library if you want to learn more about how to do that you want to have good copywriting obviously and so if they don't give you ad copy already then you can create your own or modify theirs using templates you can get ideas from other ads that you see on these search engines and see what other people are typing in for their ad copy. You can subscribe to newsletters and learn copywriting through that way and uh, and see get ideas about what other people are doing for your own newsletter. And it'd be great to be able to build your list while you're getting these click-throughs where if you if they land into a squeeze page you can have them opt in with their email before sending them through to your affiliate link to buy the product itself. That way you can always retarget those people through your email newsletter or offer them something different in the future. You can entice them to want to opt in by giving them something free like a PDF ebook, a movie, or even like an ebook that you don't make yourself through private labeling. And then you can send them a standard newsletter as well. So don't always try to market things to people and try to sell them every time you send them an email they're, or else they're just going to opt out. Be sure to offer them value in between as well where it's just you just teach them stuff that they want to know about for free without selling them anything. So here's an example of a place where you can buy like 
private label ebooks to offer to your audience when they opt in.